All right, just got the notification for the uh, software update. I believe this is the one that everybody's waiting for for the free month of April for version 12 full self-drive, the supervised one. We're gonna take a look here in a second. This car, unfortunately, uh, about two and a half weeks ago, I got the three free months of full self-drive thanks to you guys using the credits. So I don't know what's gonna happen to this car. If it's gonna get V12, if it's gonna get an extra month because of um, this, this promotion for April, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. But right now, this car is on V11. This car uh, has music going. And we just got the update notification for 24.3.10. I have no idea if this is the one, but we're gonna go ahead and install this now and see what happens if this is the uh, the update that uh, needs to get for the full self-driving update. So let's go ahead and hit that. Two minute countdown, 24.3.10. And this is a 2022 Tesla Model Y performance. Let's take a look at the details for this car. It's got the heat pump, it's got the uh, the lead acid battery, which I recently um, updated, and it's got the uh, the Intel Atom processor. So we should be good to go for uh, all things full self-drive. I mean, heck, my 2019 has it. It's just version 11. So we'll see how these shake down. Just got the notification that the uh, software update is complete. And right immediately afterwards, I got an email saying that the uh, full self-drive uh, supervised version is also activated so that was definitely the uh, software update needed to get the uh, there it is uh, full self-driving supervised under your supervision boy they're so they're going from beta uh to this and so uh, under your supervision full self-driving uh can drive your tesla almost anywhere it will make lane changes select forks to follow your navigation route navigate around other vehicles and objects and make left and right turns. It must be used with additional caution and attentive driver. We've got different choices here, minimal lane changes on the current drive. This is all on version 11 as well, I know this. Yep, full self-driving 12.3.3. So I've got one car with and one car without, and it's gonna give me a chance, well, until that other Model 3 uh, updates, it's gonna be, give me a chance to um, kind of compare them both. It's This is actually kind of cool. So one month of full self-driving supervised, uh, no longer beta. I'm not sure if that uh, has any uh, meaning or not, but uh, we're going to give this a try. So what are your thoughts on the full self-driving uh, supervised version 12? What are your thoughts on that so far? I've had a chance to take a look at version 11 uh, on my Model 3, but I haven't had a chance to check out version 12. Now I've got one of each. That's pretty cool. But if you've had it for a few days already, this actually rolled out pretty slow for me. This is on Easter Sunday is when I got it. Many of you have been getting it on Friday of the same weekend, so you've had a chance to play around with it a little bit. So uh, let me know down in the comments your thoughts how it compares to version 11 or if this is your very first time using auto uh, drive or full self drive uh supervised or the beta before that give us your thoughts i want to know what you're what you're thinking on this uh, full self drive thing we're going to get a month to play around with it i'm sure we're going to see tons of videos i'll be doing videos on both of them and uh, we'll take it from there so there you go one month of full self drive supervised i gotta get used to that terminology no longer beta <laughs> this is tesla tips and trips don't forget to like subscribe subscribe, hit the bell if you like what you're seeing here on the channel. It totally means a lot to us. We'll catch you on the next one.